We're here in one of my favorite foraging habitats, the poorly tended garden. And there are tons of lush vegetables here. And, the and you can eat them when they're much smaller than this. You can even eat the buds, but this is just how I like to get them. You can eat them right off the tree like a giraffe, or you can bring them home. And, and this is just a nice, juicy, sweet stalk. Slightly astringent. But a pleasant astringency, it's very mild. Mostly it's juicy and sweet. You might be out here at crunch. My favorite part of the Virginia water leaf. So the choke cherries that I'm making fruit leather out of, <clears throat> I'll spread them on the tray and you can see it's a much smoother texture than the whole choke cherries with the pits. The leek is a spring ephemeral. It comes out as soon as the ground thaws in the spring. And Literally, it can freeze solid. It could be five below zero and these leaves are all crispy. And it warms up to 36 degrees later that day. They thaw out and they start to photosynthesize. It's amazing that they can do that. My birthday is May 10th, the height of spring here in the North Woods. And I have a birthday tradition. Every year, I go out and collect this plant, the swamp saxifrage. If you're driving around and keeping your eye out for wild rice, it's good to remember that it's much lighter green than the other vegetation that you might confuse with it. I'd like to take too. the cluster, make sure there's no bugs in it, particularly bees, and chomp the whole thing. They're absolutely delicious. Just isolated your good stock. You need to peel the bark off, which is stringy and bitter. The easiest way to do this looks very uncouth and caveman-like, but it's the best way. Just bite the outside and pull. And when you find nanny berries or black haws like this, where basically each cluster is a handful, well you can load up fast. In fact you can load up your mouth really fast. <laughs> 